Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Arizona Bigfoot, please tune in for our live show on Wednesday mornings as we cover weekly Bigfoot poll findings, upcoming shows, and Bigfoot news, and much more. Report number 16580, Class Alpha. State, Arizona. County, Apache County. Location details coming down off a slight rise. The sides of the road were low. You would have to climb up onto the highway. There were lots of junipers, about 10 to 15 feet tall, on both sides of the road. I failed to get a road marker. It happened so fast, and I was so unprepared. Nearest town, about 6 miles from Concho, Arizona. The nearest road? The main highway between Sholo and Concho. Observed. My name is Dr. X. I'm a chiropractor. One afternoon, a few weeks back, I was on my way from Sholo, Arizona to a ranch past Concho, Arizona to work with a horse. I'm certified in animal skeletal adjusting chiropractic for animals. Between the Y in the highway and Concho, about six miles outside of Concho, at about 2.30 p.m. on a clear sunny day, October 26, 2006, I saw something come up onto the road about a half mile in front of me. At first I thought it might be a very large dog as it initially was coming up onto the road. But as it fully entered the highway, I could see that it stood straight up to a height about as tall as a road sign, maybe six or seven feet tall. It had long dark brown hair from top to bottom and stood absolutely straight up, no slouch, no forward bending at all. It ran across the road from my right toward my left and remained fully standing as it ran off into the brush. The full incident took maybe 10 seconds. The area I live in is plentiful with big animals, elk, deer, bear, big cats. Many of my patients come to see me for injuries after auto encounters with these big animals. I've had some very close calls myself. During the 12 and a half years I've lived here, I've seen several animals I had never seen in the wild before. Each one, including a Cody Mundy, were immediately recognizable. My far vision is incredibly good. It is my habit to drive hyper-vigilant for animals here. I'm quite familiar with bear movements since they are pretty well a nuisance to locals and spotted often here. It's the only other animal that could have possibly fit the description as far as fur, color, and standing height. However, bear do not stand straight up to run across a road. In fact, they don't stand straight up. When they stand, they sort of hunch and hang their front paws. This did no such thing. Immediately, I was very confused because I thought it looked like how a Sasquatch is described, but I didn't believe there might be any such thing as Sasquatch in Arizona of all places. The Pacific Northwest maybe, but Arizona? It was beyond my conception. Since then, my wife and I have been looking for information on the web and have discovered that there have been sightings in this area for years by the White Mountain Apaches, who are generally pretty closed-mouthed about it. In retrospect, I realize I should have stopped and searched for tangible evidence. But I had an appointment and didn't want to be late. I am fully convinced of what I saw and confident in my observation capacities. Other witnesses? No. My wife was reading a book. By the time I said, what the hell was that? And she looked up, it was already off in the bushes. Other stories? On the next day, my wife discovered that there have been several local sightings over the years by the White Mountain Apaches, but that they generally keep very quiet about it. Others have made reports too, including one person who saw one looking into her window one night. Time and conditions, bright, clear, sunny day, about 2.30 p.m. 
Environment, see above. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator T.F. Zamiski. I spoke with the witness Tuesday evening, November 14, 2006. He is very certain that he saw a dark brown biped cross the highway at around 2.30 p.m. A few details to add. He was driving around 70 miles per hour and saw an animal step up onto the road from the right side about one half mile ahead. As he rapidly approached the biped, it crossed the road without turning to look toward the vehicle. He slowed at the location where the Sasquatch disappeared in the juniper trees on his left side. At first he was shocked to see it, then he was impressed by the very erect posture. The biped moved with a steady gait without an exaggerated arm swing. It was covered in dark brown hair that he could only guess was four to six inches long. At the distance and speed he was driving, he is not able to provide any more detail. Elevation in this area is 5,000 to 6,000 feet. The elevation drops toward the northeast away from the Mongolian Rim. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.